I've chosen to talk about some of Beatrice Potter's illustrations that feature in her little tales. So I've chosen some scenes from two of Beatrice's little books where her love of nature, writing and art gives her imagination and sense of humour an outlet. She releases her inner child onto the pages of these tales and fabulously illustrates the mischievous happenings in an imaginary miniature world. Her strong sense of imagination is evident in her first book, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, but her sense of fun goes into overdrive in her second book, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin, with the antics of the cheeky red squirrels. I love the two illustrations where the squirrels are making rafts and then sailing them out to the island. In the foreground, a squirrel is deep in thought as he holds and intently studies a stick. Will this make a good paddle? Or will I sink in the lake? In the next drawing, as they set off in a long line, one after the other in succession, on homemade rafts made of twigs, they are each using a perfectly sized stick as an oar. With few leaves on the trees and the autumnal colours of the fells in the background, it's clearly harvest time for the crafty little red squirrels. Beatrix draws their upright bushy tails as wide as wide can be, so like a sail to catch the wind as they travel across the lake to a distant island which holds the promise of a grand gathering of nuts. It proves anything can be overcome with a little imagination, and she gives them a leap from reality into the world of fantasy. It's so much more imaginative than just having the squirrels sneak on board a tourist boat. So in the tale of the two bad mice, Beatrix's own pet mice, Tom Thumb and Hunker Munker, are lovingly working together as husband and wife, but creating havoc in the quest for something to eat. They cause mass destruction amongst the doll's house furniture when no one is at home. The joint of ham had looked so realistic, so perfect, so delicious, cooked and ready to eat, all irresistible for the hungry mice, but it's just too hard for them to cut. The particular image I love, which is just so funny and impossible, is the one of Tom Thumb. He's been so angry and frustrated, smashing the toy ham with a coal shovel with pieces of broken china all over the floor. Hunker Munker stands on a chair next to him, trying a more delicate approach to remove a fish from a plate. She patiently watches as she holds the plate at an angle, hoping the fish will just slide off. The temptation to eat the food that is not theirs is so strong and you can really see their utter frustration, anger and disappointment coming through in all of their actions. But the story remains light-hearted and it ends well with an apologetic Tom Thumb paying the dolls for everything he broke.